try and go without stopping. There's no way I'm not going to be seen in here. So yeah, that's a good time to do it. <laughs> what am I doing? Now then people, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to do my first little attempt at stealth camping. Four lanes of traffic to cross just to get onto the roundabout. So how I'm going to do that without being seen, I do not know. There is traffic lights on the roundabout. So I've either got to wait for them to go red and just belt it across even if there's cars there or I try to time it right so that I can just scurry across when there's a gap without people seeing me. I'm going to go get my bag on and then work my way down towards it. I'm parked really close to it as well so that's not too bad. I've not done a recce so I haven't got a clue what it's like actually on the bit of land. There's loads of trees, loads of bushes so I guess we'll just see. If we get caught, we get caught, we move on, we go home. It is what it is. Best thing I can do is try to do this in one smooth, swift motion. Anticipate the cars. Try go without stopping. Who the hell's people beeping, man? Shitting me up. So yeah, that's a good time to do it. Good bloke outdoors. Good bloke outdoors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, bro. Nah, this looks, this looks sketchy, this. And it looks quite difficult to get into. So I'm in, but I'm fully exposed. There's no way I'm not gonna be seen in here. And the ground, it's just pure nettles. So I'm crossing and someone beeps, shouting, what's your YouTube account called? So whoever that is, hopefully you caught it right when I told you. And you subscribe. So as far as places to pitch, man, there is nowhere. The ground is just pure nettles. And the cars are literally there. So all these cars that are waiting at the traffic lights, all it takes is for one of them to look right and they're going to see me. I should have brought a little tar or summit to try and block the view. Some form of camouflage or something, but it won't plan this, it's sort of a last minute thing. So I'm going to have to try to scope about See what I can find up here. Yeah, I reckon we can do it. We're on now anyway, aren't we? We're on. See, here isn't too bad. We just have got nowhere to pitch thinking of two things I should have brought now. Should have brought a tarp, should have brought a bivvy bag. Because, not ideal, but you probably could squeeze a little bivvy down here. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? So I've managed to find this little fence here. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be surrounding or, God knows it's old anyway, it's all rotten. 
Now the road is there Four lanes of traffic Part of the roundabout But It's well after The red light So at no point Will any cars be stationary So the chances of you just Randomly glancing right As you're driving I don't know Obviously passengers are going to be Looking all over The main thing is Is just Watching out for local Dibble Or Rosas I don't think anyone else Is going to do all Unless I don't know but obviously I can't keep here because the shit in where it's not flat. So I'm gonna see what I can do. Set my bag off anyway for now. I don't know why I wore a white t-shirt either. I should have gone proper camo. This is a perfect opportunity to get all camo gear out and that. Shout out to Ben for the shirt as well. One of your shirts, bro. Right, so I'll move some of this shit. I suppose I can stand it against that fence and try to block out this view a bit more. I genuinely think I could kick there. It's gonna be on a mega slant, but I don't know, I think it should be alright. So I'm starting to think now it might be best to just get the tent up. I've gone for Nature Hike Cloud Up 2 because I feel like that's the best sort of green colour that I've got that's going to blend in with all this sort of shit. There is actually a motorway up there but the barriers are massive. But I'm starting to think I probably should have brought the Hilleberg Solo because if something does fly off of there I'm f***ed if I'm in that Nature Hike. The only reason why we're going to wait a little bit before putting it up is if someone has seen me coming in and reported it or whatever, you know what they're like, then obviously Busy's will be coming to check it out. Just going to get 10 up. We have to get that fly sheet on pretty rapid. Do I even need to peg it out? Apart from these two vestibule ones. I suppose I'm better because we're on a hill and I'll end up bloody rolling it over or something. I'll put a couple in. Now the only little mistake I think I made now is I bloody pegged it in with door facing road and if I'm going to want to do some cooking and that I'm going to be really visible so 
that might mean just going out back at the tent to do a cooking and let the tent disguise the smoke or whatever. God knows. So I'll show you what scran I've brought. I've got some olive oil, tin opener, pan holder for my frying pan, bit of mayonnaise, egg, green beans, peeled new potatoes, barbecue supreme seasoning, chipotle lime barbecue rub, and a big fat steak. Can't really complain at that for a bit of tea, yeah? Not a bad bit of scran for a Saturday night. Yeah, boy. Pops and bangs and that, you know you're in Bradford when every other car has bloody pops and bangs and crackle maps and that. Love it. This ground in here is shocking. There's like big bricks and that, or it might be just tree roots, but there's some of that's solid anyway. So hopefully once I pump my mat up, that'll even it out a little bit. It should be alright. It's a bit strange not having to hike in to a camp, like within 15 minutes I'm in. Tents up. Chilling out. What I'm finding weird as well is that I can actually see people's faces from here when they're in the car. So if I can see them, they can clearly see me. It's about whether they notice me or not. Probably should have watched some more sort of stealth camping videos. I've not watched any, I don't think, on YouTube. Because I'm not even sure what you're supposed to bloody do or film. Normally I'd be filming some pucker views, I'd be getting drawn out, flying it about. I'm literally just sat looking at a road, so <laughs> it's not my usual sort of camping to be honest. You usually find me up a mountain if you don't watch the channel already. Or doing some form of hiking. <laughs> but I guess it's somewhat different. I'm gonna get this food on go soon anyway. So I feel like I'm best off cooking while it's light outside because once it's dark obviously if I've got that stove on it's going to stand out even more then isn't it the amount of sirens you hear on here if they're going to be going on all night definitely not going to get much sleep it's mental let's get some bloody granite go new potatoes good job I checked in it because I actually packed these first this is a ring pull at top, put this one in, so it's a good job I brought my bloody tin opener. So let's get this fired on. So I'm going to boil these first in the pan. Jeez, this could get messy in here, this. I'm going to boil them in the pan first. In fact, I'm actually going to take some out. I don't need a full tin. Save them for later. Take a bit of this water out as well. So technically I should be able to boil them and them together really. It's still gonna take around the same amount of time. Whoa, why do these look weird man? These look weird, these, you know. What's date on them? Do they look weird to you? They look yellow, they're supposed to be green, aren't they? Green beans? God knows. Tip a bit of juice out. Scoop a bit of them in there. And then I brought a little sandwich tub. So I can just tip the rest of these cans in here. Happy days, man. I didn't bring no snacks, so I might end up chewing on some of these in a bit. <laughs> Let's hope not. This should fill me up anyway, this meal. Let's get these cans well out of way. Especially before I get that bloody firmer S pumped up. 
Oh, we're in there, yeah? Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Fuck a blues, that, straight in. Right, let's start getting this boiled up then. No, I just want to let that simmer, really. Don't look the most appetising, does it? While that's doing its ting in there, I guess we can prepare this steak. Yeah, boy. This chipotle lime barbecue rub, banging, mate. You got a proper coat in it, though. Oh, shit. Isn't it? Plenty on there, eh? Mopping it all up. Sit. So what I think I'm going to do is sort of boil these. Not fully boil them, but just get them sort of parboiled and then I'll fry them in the steak juice just to sort of, might crisp them up a bit or something, I don't know. Just winging it, man, winging it. Got a bit of this barbecue supreme seasoning as well. So why not? The pan that I use is just a Trangia titanium pan, really light. And then you get the little pot holder with it, pan holder, whatever it is. Just hooks on there then. Let's get the steak wax in. Check timer on that. I'm a medium rare sort of guy, me, but I'm not going to be too fussy out here, am I? Listen, don't look the best, but I think that's going to be all right, you know. Plenty of flavour on it. The only thing that's looking a bit sketchy are those green beans. Oh, come on. No mayo left. Bon appetit, mate. Side at Chamber Roundabout. Steak, fried egg, green beans, new potatoes mayonnaise well strand all that went down a treat to be honest beautiful oh my days well, it's currently 5 a.m. Didn't even say night to you guys last night. I had that scran, that nice steak, put some on my phone to watch. Did not expect to fall asleep anytime soon. And I must have been fast asleep by, I don't know, quarter past 10 or something. Last time I seen the time were like 10 o'clock. So I've just woke up now for the first time. I don't know how I've managed to sleep all the way through the night because it's so loud out there. When you get bloody wagons driving past and 
vans with trailers bouncing about and that. We're a bit aware of it now, I'm guessing. It's still pitch black outside. I've actually gone for a winter bag this time, just because of how close the distance was at car. So sleeping setup's just been rubber scent 900, flex tail gear pillow. I'm on the firmer S Neoware X Lite sleeping pad with the foil mat underneath. So I'm just gonna wait for it to get light. Start packing away. I'm in no rush this morning, so I'm just gonna chill out, do a bit of editing on the phone for an hour or something. I brought my down gear, down pants, bloody down jacket, down socks. Didn't even put them on last night. I were intending to, so I fell asleep in shirt and my bloody cargo pants, whatever they are. So yeah, at least we're up nice and early today. Met most up there. So I'm gonna start packing away all this shit in the next hour or so, and then I'll catch back up with you when we've got a bit of daylight. So that's just where I were nestled in. Not a bad pitch. It's hard to tell, but it's on a real wonky angle there if I hold the camera straight. But over there, it looks like there's a cracking sunrise. But yeah, I don't even know what I bothered about last night. The only thing that I'm more concerned about was just entering the roundabout. All it takes is one nosy bastard and you know what it's like, you'll be on local bloody Facebook neighbourhood watch group. Every village or town's got them where all the talk about is bloody dog shit and people's bins going missing and stuff. And yeah, I just didn't want someone saying, oh, I've just seen someone going on chain by roundabout with a big rucksack on. That's all you need. I did get bloody beeped at as well, didn't I? So I'm gonna pack this beast away. What a tent this is. It's first time I've camped in this for about, I don't know, I got the Nightcat tent after this, I got the Cloud Peak 2 after this, and I've had the Hilleberg Solo after this. Gone back to this for the first time since then, and Pucker tent, really recommend it. Nature Hike, Cloud Up 2, link in description. I'm gonna put this away, and then I'll catch up with you. Here we are, all packed up. Leave no trace, as always. So I've just got to climb over this fence. Oh, bloody hard it was to get to this place. Bloody nettles everywhere. This will surprise a couple of people when they see me popping out as they're driving past. Here we are, look. That's what we're dealing with around here. Look. There we are. Straight across. A lot easier on a Sunday morning than it was last night. <laughs> so I guess that's my first sort of stealth roundabout camp completed. Probably first and last, to be honest. Not really my sort of thing, but I just thought I'd give it a go. A lot of people do this sort of roundabout camping. And I thought, biggest roundabout near me, chain bar. Drove round it thousands of times probably maybe not thousands hundreds so yeah nearly back at the whip already what a short walk i hope you like this video smash a like drop a comment hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out in a bitch